Okay, so that is an awesome question. Let me recap it. So you're at the beginning of your rebranding journey and you're wondering whether you should include an icon in your logo or keep it as a purely typographical logo. Is that right? Yeah, okay, that is a great question. And many of the people that we help rebrand grapple with this. And there are some cases when it's good and cases when it's you're better off having a typographic solution, but we love icons. So deciding when it's appropriate to use an icon in your brand involves five considerations. Firstly, an icon is an opportunity to tell more of your brand story. So that's the first thing. And we'll dive into these a little deeper in a second. So the second is you have an opportunity to create a stronger connection with your audience when you have an icon. Third is it can create a simplified, a universal recognition. So spanning, uh, we'll get in spanning nationalities, language. Fourth is simplicity in design. Icons need to be simple. And there's some logic in that that we'll cover in a second. And lastly, evolution and staying relevant is also important when it comes to brands, particularly yours, if we're gonna look at an evolution of your brand. So do any of these resonate? Yeah, okay, so let's dive into these a little bit deeper. We have blog posts on our website that talk about icon design and typography. So we can go deeper into those later if you want. But let's talk about the first one. I think I said it's an opportunity to tell more of your brand story. So the reason is that when you incorporate an icon into your logo, you open up the possibility to convey meaning, a deeper meaning or an attribute that you can incorporate via a symbol. The icon, well, it's a graphical element within the visual identity and allows you to express more of who you are, of what you do, or what you stand for, all that good stuff. Everything that we're doing in the brand foundations, you get to communicate that symbolically, right? If there is an icon that conveys that beautifully. And if you don't, then you may miss that opportunity to communicate that when type alone might not allow you to do that. Yeah. So the second one was about creating stronger connections with your audience. So an icon can evoke emotions. Design can evoke emotions, can evoke feelings that you want your audience to have and associate with your business, with your brand. So an icon provides an opportunity to establish that deeper connection because you can engage your target market better. First impressions are crucial. A meaningful icon can help create that meaningful first impression. It can help you convey clarity and simplicity and resonate from the beginning, right? The third one I said was universal recognition. So icons, by virtue of being a design, a simple symbol, have the power to transcend language, to transcend barriers of cultures, right? But it's also, you've got to consider that. I mean, think about brands like Apple or Nike, right? Those symbols, they're instantly recognizable worldwide. And, you know, heaven forbid, the golden arches as well, right? And there are other ones that I don't want to name that have done the work to establish their brand, everything they stand for, in a strong, simple icon. And so doing that can make your brand identifiable without having to rely on text, without having to rely on translations of words or yeah, yeah. having another typographical solution to cross borders. So recall can be easier. Another one to consider, and like we're a big believer we, of Einstein's quote, where he says, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. I mean, that's the designer's dilemma, right? Simplicity is fundamental when it comes to a strong brand icon. So simple, bold, clear right? Communicate. That's what's going to work. That's what's going to matter. So if you are looking down the path and we always start with icon and we always start with what is the simplest icon? And we're going to touch on this in, I think this week in another piece of content, overcomplicating your logo with too many elements. That's bad. Simplicity is key, right? So that is all important. And that kind of leads to the next part is evolution and relevance, staying relevant. So many well-known brands and, you know, a lot of people that, a lot of businesses that approach a rebrand, it's because their brand is too busy and it needs to be evolved over time to stay relevant, right? So you look at brands, I think, well, Twitter before it became X, Starbucks, right? Mercedes, these are the examples on our website for the icons that we've shown a clear transformation of where it started, overly illustrative or decorative simplification. That's becoming even to the point where oversimplification in logos today, and there are some bad redesigns where they've simplified way too far that they've missed the whole point and the brand doesn't really stand for anything anymore. Now, the key part of this is staying relevant is usage as well. 
So simplicity in design, usage, right? If you can have a like the, the, your brand fitting in the ideal proportions so that it can be used wherever it's needed. And today it's purely mostly digital. I mean, not, there's not as much print going on these days, but you still need to factor that. Evolution, staying relevant for production is key. So does that make sense to cover everything? Yeah. All right, so if you consider these factors, you can determine whether an icon is the right approach. We always start with icon. In except when there are industry cases where it makes sense to be typographic, right? So if your brand name is unique, maybe a distinctive name can be the focus. Also, we can integrate an icon. Sometimes within the design process, the ideation, we work out that an icon can be fused within the typeface. You've got a custom typographical solution that then that tweak can actually become a device that's used through the brand. So yeah, if some things like fashion, you know, High-end fashion, usually, well, a lot of the cases now is a typographical solution. So look, we're big fans of icons. It does give an opportunity to tell a richer, deeper, more meaningful story. It gives you something to use as, as a device to use in your brand. And the reality is we will help you navigate this for your particular brand. But I hope I've painted the case for icons. We're big believers in icons and yeah, happy to continue this conversation with you and anyone else that's watching this. So. All good. Thank you again for the question.